That's the new New World Order. Is Correct. that New World Order they're calling for? That's right. The emerging markets, because they want the lifestyle that the West is taken for granted and they are going to work together against this and you know really one third of all of america's debt is owned by china and china does not play by you know the un's rules uh, if you look at all the voting uh, on the un they've always backed russia where's india here there's a reason why obama's putting so much time into india historically india is going to align themselves up with russia who's really supplying the military of india it's russia china russia uh, India, the emerging markets are working together against the forces of Europe, Western Europe and America. And right now, if you see Ukraine is a good example of what's going on, you know, you really who's winning here? The Russians are winning in the Ukraine. Let me raise this point. We see mainstream articles in The Guardian out of Davos where George Soros is running around with his minions saying, you better give $100 trillion to the IMF and World Bank to help poor people. There's going to be a global uprising against wealth. And the billionaires are running off the Cook Islands and, and New Zealand and other areas, building armored redoubts and private long airstrips and admitting it's because of this. But then meanwhile, Soros is trying to stir up civil unrest everywhere. What do you think's behind that? Well, there's always an agenda. Where are his investments going? You know, he, he, there's no secret that he was the funder of the Orange Revolution, the Rose Revolution in the early 2000s against Russia. This time is a bit different situation. The Russians are working together with China and their forces are going to be working against that. So Soros has his agenda where his investments are. You know, no one's asking, is he trying to protect his investments? You know, there, there's no secret that Soros has been a big investor in Ukraine. He's potentially there to lose billions of dollars. So he's trying to use the government's money to bail out his own investments. So there's a lot of things behind the scenes that we don't see. Um, again, in the Middle East. Well, that's right. I mean, he called for a Marshall Plan 10 of billions of dollars to be given basically directly to him exactly it's the american taxpayer that is funding his investments well i mean i agree with you that up until about six months ago putin was beating the west and again i'm not lionizing him but putin's not here running things trying to take my guns and running ads everywhere saying fathers are bad i mean we got a really sick elite make no mistake uh, but I'd take the real American system any day over what Russia's got. So I'm not rooting against America. I'm just here looking at the tea leaves. But now since the Saudis and others slashed oil prices, or I know you're an expert on energy, so break that down for us. Uh, it seems like it's really hurting Russia, hurting the ruble. Uh, I mean, in a football game, it looks like uh, the devil patriots are coming back a little bit. Well, exactly. And what's key to understand here for Russia, why they are going to survive here, first of all, they're the world's largest crude oil producer, but they produce in rubles and they sell in euros and U.S. dollars. So they won't experience Dutch disease. When you're a petrol state, when you're a real producer of oil, the worst thing you want is a decreasing commodity price and a strengthening dollar. So I will argue that the Bakken and the Eagleford are experiencing Dutch disease here because their costs are in US dollars and they sell in US dollars. So what's this all about is international market share. You got the Arab Gulf states, you know, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, UAE, they are major producers and they're trying to increase their market share. Russia is a major producer, they're trying to increase their market share. And then the US shale sector has been hugely successful. They're trying That's to bankrupt that. Exactly. And this is a war against the U.S. shale sector. I put an article out that OPEC declared war on U.S. Thanksgiving Day where all the analysts expected OPEC to cut production. I said, no way. They are not going to uh, cut production because they're declaring war on America because America was the largest consumer of the OPEC oil, but now they're a competitor against and OPEC. And by the yeah, the U.S. starting two years ago is the biggest producer in the world. And for those that don't know, this is in The Economist. This is in the Financial Times that are establishment mouthpieces. They admit Saudi Arabia and OPEC are waging war on us, just as they are on Russia. That's a perfect example of globalism. You think America against Russia? No. Or you think America against Russia or EU? The EU is getting hurt. The people are getting hurt by what's hurting Russia. This only helps a few insiders uh, having all this unfold. That's right. And you know what no one wants to talk about, Alex? Where did Saudi Arabia, before they saw the collapse in oil, they took billions of dollars positions on the short of oil. They shorted American companies. They shorted the U.S. production. And they made billions of dollars on the decrease of price of oil. How come no one's talking about that? It's amazing. Establishment publications admit it, but, uh, you know, these average people out there, good, hurt Russia. It doesn't help anybody for a major country to do bad, folks. That ends up pulling everybody down. Let me ask you this. Seeing this global recessionary trend intensify, 
Are you worried about deflationary or inflationary? And do you agree that Russia having trouble will hurt Europe and then ultimately pull down the Middle East and then the U.S.? I mean, I, I see this as a trigger event. Alex, I think currently we are in a deflationary resource environment, and deflation is the worst thing for country planners because when you have less money to play with, you can't cover up. Look at the Arab Spring. What did Saudi Arabia do to prevent any revolutionary? They just created a lot of social program spending. That ends in a deflationary market, and deflation is very bad. And it's going to what results from a deflationary environment is more global conflict, and that's what we see in Europe. That's what we see in the Middle East, and right now we haven't seen it yet in the U.S. But with all of these job layoffs that are going to come in the high paying jobs of the Bakken. We are in a new and deflationary environment, which means more crises globally are going to occur. More battles, more wars, more deaths. Energy battles. I mean, you see Russia now moving into the North Pole. We'll discuss all this and more. Then your phone calls are coming up. The book available at caseyresearch.com or colderwar.com. The Colder War by Marin Katusa. I'm Alex Jones with infowars.com because there is a war on for your mind. That's the whole point. This hour brought to you by InfidelBodyArmor.com. When it hits the fan, don't be left without the body armor that will save your life. With prices starting at just $374.99 and ships free. Get yours at InfidelBodyArmor.com. Just won't quit. Hi, Ted Anderson with Midas Resources. Is it time to convert paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver yet? Get our 10 Reasons book free. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Worried about getting sick and feeling terrible for days or even weeks? You need Immudine for a healthy immune system. Why get sick and bother with products that just don't work? For just a dollar a day, Immudine is all natural and safe for all lifestyles. Call 866-257-8668 to buy now before it's too late, before you get sick. Or go to immudyne.com, immudine.com, or call 866-257-8668. Interested in free bitcoins? Stay tuned for more information. Are you worried about Big Brother watching your bank account? Frustrated with annoying fees? Concerned about unauthorized access to your account? What if there was a way to be your own bank? Bitcoin gives you a way to take back control of your money. The citizens of two large countries have already turned to Bitcoin when their economies collapsed. Unlike U.S. dollars, there is a limited number of Bitcoins. The government cannot simply decide to print more. Eight million people are already using Bitcoin anonymously with 90,000 retailers accepting them. Investors have put $4 billion into Bitcoin, with millions more being invested daily. Bitrush.com is based in Texas and provides the most profitable way to own Bitcoins. To receive your own free Bitcoins, you can visit us at www.bitrush.com. Dot com. That's B-I-T-R-U-S-H dot com. Or call us at 1-800-200-8202. Again, that's bitrush.com or 1-800-200-8202 for free bitcoins. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions. SilverLungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at SilverLungs.com. That's SilverLungs.com. Hey. Sorry I'm running late. I had to stop and get my vitamins for the month. I got mine in the mail yesterday from DiscountNutritionShop.com. So I'm here totally on time. <laughs> DiscountNutritionShop.com? Yep, they're a lifesaver in more ways than one. They have all the nutritional supplements you need, the major brands you know. Plus, you can save up to 10%. Write down this number, 888-908-4548. Huh? 888-908-4548. Or just go to DiscountNutritionShop.com. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. I got it. Walt. Watch me. I got it. Hey. Rich, John, Vince, Allen. I'm going to get to all of you coming up eight after in the next hour. We'll do two more short segments with uh, Marin Katusa, Chief Energy Strategist, KC Research. Talking to folks out there in the mining industry, in oil and gas, how long do they expect this OPEC Saudi led war against other independent energy sectors to go. I know the Saudis have been funding the peak oil myth forever. I know they've been funding uh, these attacks on any other exploration they don't control. 
And I mean, I don't want to just demonize the Saudis, but I mean, come on, the Saudi government is a joke. And the president bowing down to them is an even bigger joke. And it just never seems to end. Well, where does your gut tell you all of this craziness is going? It's about market share, Alex, and I think it's going to get worse and it's going to be longer. Uh, what is going to win and what I believe is going to be prevail is the American innovation, the shale sector, the horizontal drilling, the fracking. Uh, that, that is an American innovation. And I think innovation uh, through necessity is what's going to prove and end up becoming the victor here because the difference is we can rely on our own oil and gas production, whereas the shaky house of Saud or Kuwait, you know, these are basket cases we're waiting to be toppled and you can't rely rely on long-term supply and that is why China is aligning itself with Russia for example they've in, they've doubled the amount of oil they're importing from Russia in just the last four months because they know they can't rely on Middle East oil so I think it's gonna you know the Middle East is going the OPEC is going to flood the markets as much as they can they're not going to cut back production uh, they're going to try to increase their uh, market share and go against and fight create a war against the US shale sector that's right. What do you expect to happen in the short term, medium term uh, between the U.S. Uh, being drugged into this EU operation? Because I think that was disinfo when that tape got released of them saying, forget the EU, we want this war. I mean, it's the EU and the banksters that want to carve up Ukraine. There's not even a lot of U.S. interest there. Exactly. And I think this is just going to drag in and it's, it's going to be kind of a death spiral. For America because you know the Russians are ready to fight and I'm not sure Obama understands that or understands the Russian mentality yet and it's just gonna get worse and it's gonna be longer well the war planners certainly know that the Russians don't give up when it's their own land or their own area I mean it, it just it really makes me wonder about the arrogance of this elite definitely and you know we have to understand the West sees this as Putin invading Eastern Ukraine. But to the average Russian, they believed Crimea was always theirs. They believe that Eastern Ukraine is always theirs. To the average Russian, they believe Kiev is their historical founding city. So for the Russians, they are fighting for what they believe is theirs. The West, America, the leaders in America today, but don't understand that, and I don't think they're prepared for what the Russians are gonna uh, put up here. And, and remember, the Russians are not afraid of rattling the nuclear weapons, and Putin's talked about it publicly, and this guy, is, you know, he's ready to play Russian roulette. My question is, is the EU-28 ready to uh, fight Putin? I don't well, think so. Well, you know the Russians are gonna start other stuff. They're gonna start poisoning people. They're gonna have asymmetrical uh, sabotage stuff. Um, I mean, if I was all these George Soros people, I mean, that he's, he's really got to be watching his back. Oh, definitely. And not just George Soros. Look at all the, the short guys against the, you know, uh, the, the, the Putinization of the resources. Uh, you know, a big question I have is, you know, the West in America, one in every 10 homes in the last 25 years has been powered by Russian nuclear energy. This is a startling fact. What happens if Kazakhstan goes down? You know, there's so many problems here in the world that our media is not truly covering. And I'd be very worried if I was a George Soros type of character. Yeah. That guy just keeps getting away with everything. Every dog has his day sooner or later. You know what Johnny Cash says. I want to do five more minutes with you. I really appreciate you joining us. I want to walk through what you see as other big hot spots, what you see for the U.S. economy straight ahead, what's going on in the Canadian economy. Uh, Marin Katusa, Chief Energy Strategist, Casey Research, is our guest. The book is The Colder War. I'm Alex Jones. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Year after year, we watch the threat steadily increase. And now, this winter has been the worst on record when it comes to our immune systems and health. For more than two years, InfoWarsLife.com has been watching this crisis intensify. And Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Complex was our answer. Using a proprietary process that takes ancient proven herbs and combines them with modern science, this powerful and affordable formula contains more than 14 key herbs and extracts, including 
Echinacea, ginger root, elderberry, golden seal root, a proprietary yin chio formula, and many, many more. I take it and so does my family. It's made in the USA, gluten-free, alcohol-free, no artificial flavors or colors, and not tested on animals. Take advantage of this introductory offer for ancient defense, normally $19.95, now only $14.95. That's 25% off. Visit InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139 to secure your ancient defense.